Welcome to MarketTamer.com. It is Thursday, August 6th, and you're looking at a chart of the S&P 500 just after the market close. It's a big, big day in the indexes. We'll come to that in a few moments. Uh, I did send a note out to members in the last uh, day or so indicating that we were seeing some divergences. Specifically, what we were seeing was a difference in how the NASDAQ was behaving relative to the S&P 500. So I'll get to that in just a moment, but let's just highlight here the S&P 500, what happened today uh, was down about five points or so from an intraday high of 1,008. Note that our peak had been targeted at 1,012, so we came within four points of our target, which we specified many, many weeks ago. And uh, the reason we specified that target was it was uh, retracement level, a Fibonacci retracement level. Now, intraday, we did drop to 992, but that's not where we closed. And that's significant because we actually were below this five-day moving average, which, of course, is a significant event according to our short-term trading system, which we discuss in uh, Module 7, Lesson 3 of the program. But the bottom line is we've held that five-day moving average. And if we look to the Dow Jones Industrial Average, we'll actually find that the Dow Jones is holding up pretty well also. In fact, you can see here very similar intraday action. We opened around 92.77. We went up as high as 93.25, down to 92.108, but closed at uh, 92.56, which again held a five-day moving average. So looking at both of these indexes, there is no change in trend. Everything remains bullish. We've just had simply pullbacks in the uptrend. We've seen those before. For example, we saw in uh, mid-July, we saw this uh, slight down day. We also saw a couple of down days later in July. Now in early August, we're seeing a couple of down days. They do not necessarily signify a trend change. But let's return back to what I spoke about at the start of the video, which is it's a big day. Why is it a big day? Well, we've seen some divergences in NASDAQ price action relative to those uh, actions of the other indexes. For example, here we see uh, for the first time a close, and this is very significant, a close below the five-day moving average with the five-day starting to point lower. That is a very bearish sign. In fact, that is uh, officially a sell signal on the NASDAQ. However, we have not seen follow through on the S&P 500, which generally represents the market as a whole being a broad based index versus the NASDAQ, which is primarily a technology based index. The Dow Jones Industrial Average obviously is uh, noteworthy, but it does not carry the same significance as either the NASDAQ or S&P 500. Uh, as we evaluate the indexes. So for now, let's just note that uh, we are looking at a sell signal. And when we're looking at sell signals on the indexes, often the thing to do is start looking at stocks that are also producing sell signals. Uh, we're keeping a very close eye on bellwethers such as Apple here, which uh, slightly closed uh, right around its five-day moving average, just just below it. Um, however, the five-day is pretty flat here, so we're not seeing real convincing bearishness yet. We can also take a look at a stock like Google, which is pretty choppy, in fact, very choppy over the past month relative to some other stocks, but has also held its five-day moving average for the most part. And the key thing to note when we're looking at these uh, trends is which moving average is holding. So for example, during the uptrend in the May-June time frame, the five-day held. Once we crossed below it, we saw the five-day held as resistance. So I should highlight it held as support on the way up, resistance on the way down. Then we had some choppiness. And we've seen in the last uh, three or four weeks or so, the 20-day has actually been pretty significant, so we would want to see a close below there before we'd be uh, much more bearish. But the bottom line is when we see markets go bearish and stocks go bearish, we can look to bear calls. When we see markets go bullish and stocks go bullish, we can look to bull putts. And there are lots of other strategies which we'll talk about at markettamer.com. We look forward to seeing you there.